Hey guys, this is my Tesla Model S long range version 2021 and I'm going to walk you around a brand new software update that just got released to the car. Uh, this is pretty uh, exciting. This is all about autopilot and getting full self-driving capabilities. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in the car here and I'll point out to you exactly what uh, is in the update. And uh, we actually need to put a request in. So you'll uh, be able to check this out here. So here you can kind of see uh, the latest software update. This is under your software um, button on the very bottom of the user interface. Uh, right now you can see we're looking at 2021.32.22. And this is basically the, it will enable a button to request for full self-driving. And this is a beta version. Uh, this is all around autopilot, but for those of you that don't know, Tesla has been doing a lot of updates related to autopilot. This most recent update will essentially make the car full self-driving. That means driving on all types of roads, speed, different things like that. It still does require you to have your hands on the wheel and to be paying attention, but it is supposed to stop at stop signs, stop at red lights, go go at green lights, uh, turn around corners, do all these different things that are going to be on city roads as well as neighborhood roads and obviously highways. Uh, the full uh, self-driving does work on highways right now and it will do lane changes and things like that. Uh, but this is a new big uh, release. Um, so Tesla is really focusing on good beta um, users right now when it comes to the full self-driving and um, I heard that if you're a, a, not a safe driver, for example, then Tesla will not accept you in this. So I'm gonna go ahead, you know, my driving habits, I do drive a little bit over the speed limit here and there, uh, but I don't tend to speed around other types of roads. So we'll see uh, if they actually let me in. Um, I might speed too much or drive a little too crazy for them wanting me to be in the early beta group, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the request. So you can see here it says, if I do want to go to the request, I have to go to the autopilot area um, under the configuration. So let's go ahead and click here and then uh, we'll go to autopilot. And then you can see at the very top here, it says request for full self-driving beta. Let's go ahead and select that. Here you go, here's some notes here that we can see. So it says limited early access for full self-driving beta. And basically, if you read this copy, basically what they're saying is you're gonna get a score based on, upon your driving habits. And then if you fall within their range, then you will be eligible uh, to receive the additional update that should give us that full self-driving capabilities. Now I have to agree to a couple things here in order for them to accept me. So the first is I have to consent that I'm willing to give my data related to my VIN number on this car uh, for Tesla to look at. And that's allow that, that will allow them to score me. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to that. Uh, the next one is um, that I understand that while I'm driving it, I have to remain alert, my hands, need to stay on the yoke and I need to be um, looking at the road even though the car is in full self-driving. So I'm gonna go ahead and agree to that. And then the last one is just my understanding that they can revoke uh, the full self-driving at any point. So maybe uh, they don't like my driving habits while I'm using it, it does allow them to actually revoke it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say okay to that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say accept. And so at this point, um, I guess I just registered for it, but if they monitor my driving and they see that my driving is pretty good, then my guess is that I will be accepted. And then I will be able to download um, another software update um, that will allow me to have the full self-driving capabilities. So. Anyways, that's pretty exciting. Um, hopefully uh, we can make that happen. Uh, please like the video and please subscribe to uh, the channel if you guys care about Teslas and want to get an update on this. Uh, once I do get accepted for this, hopefully I do, we'll see. 
Um, I will certainly send out another video, probably a number of videos on full self-driving. So hopefully they do accept me. That would just be fantastic. I might have to drive a little bit nicer in the meantime for that. So we'll see. Um, and I am going to do a full autopilot uh, video coming up here in probably the next uh, couple weeks. I know many of you have requested that. And I want to make sure that I can get that uh, full self-driving capability um, and autopilot. Um, I want to do autopilot as is first without the full self-driving uh, capability, just so everyone understands how autopilot works, what I like about it, what, uh, what I don't like about it, um, where I use it the most and everything. And then, uh, and then again, yeah, hopefully we get the, uh, the request for the, the whole self, full self-driving capability and I'm able to download that. So anyways, that's a quick video. I just wanted to get back to you, everyone, on the latest software update. I am encouraged by this. I'm not sure how, uh, how common this has gone out to a lot of people that drive Teslas. Uh, if you've gotten this, please let me know in the video comments. I'd, I'd love to know. And if you are actually uh, one of the lucky people that are in the full self-driving uh, beta, let me know also. I'd love to see a video uh, or any comments around that. So it's pretty exciting. Thanks again for your time again. I really appreciate it. I know everyone's busy. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next uh, video. Take care, everyone.